everybody, it's Kim, and I have a quick thrift store Goodwill haul for you today. I got a bee in my bonnet, and I decided to head to the Goodwill, so my favorite one. So, yeah, and all of these were gone, so I took the bulk of them, but... Anywho, so I got some great wood stamps, and I want to share this one I think has been there a while... And it's not in the best condition. I'll try stamping it out. But I think the ink or the rubber is good. But aren't those cute balloons? Cute. $2.99. There was not a sale or anything going on. Confetti balloons bunch. Dots. So I got that. I just thought for birthday cards. How cute is that? Then I got this cutie patootie for $2.99. And this is, what are these? Precious Moments. Oh my gosh, so sweet. Stampendous. $19.95. Precious Moments. Medias. What's it called? The Love Forever. Oh my gosh. Look at those cuties. Oh, up in their little cloud. So sweet. Then I got this Mary Engelbrecht, I think, or Bright Brecht, I believe it is. All Night Media Angle Bright. Yeah, All Night Media. Well, it's not going to get it, but then I saw the sunflowers and the Ukraine thing is still on my mind, so I just reminded me of that, so I got it. Good condition. It's been used, but it's in good condition, so I don't know. Yeah, this one. Brand new. So I need to make sure it gets some use, poor thing. Okay, and then this one... I think there's any sorry no there's no mark oh wait stamp it up 2001 sorry isn't that pretty so back in the day you had to trim your stamps out and then mount them yourself with stampin up but look at this design around gorgeous so i got that that was 2.99 and I got some sentiment ones, $1.99. Uh, this is Denami Design, Kent, Washington. So that's local here. Merry Christmas. Isn't that pretty how they wrote that? I just love it. Had a good day. We made our first day with kids today. So that was good. They were so excited to be the first ones in the room. So that was pretty cool. 2010. So what is that, 12 years old? Really? 2000, anything in the 2000s, I think it was just the other day. <laughs> it's like, good Lord. Freaks me out. Anywho, but yeah, the kids did good. Um, one of my kiddos had a bad time, so I had to cancel some groups again because I had to deal with him. But anyway, whatever. $4.99 for this. It is brand spanking new. Look at this poinsettia. So I'm thinking I would do it maybe in um, embossing powder heat emboss it, and then color it in, kind of like a stained glass. Isn't that gorgeous? And look at this. Brand new, and oh, this thing, it takes up some real estate. Magenta, made in Canada. Something somebody wrote on there. But anyway, I just thought that was gorgeous, and I'm actually going to set it aside. I am working on some projects, but I'm going to use them for my Saturday morning makes. So this is just a haul, but I am working on some stuff. This weekend, I gotta put the um, calendars together. I don't think I have this one. I just think this is here's my two granddaughters, right? Emma pulling Tori is what I thought of in the red wagon. Isn't that sweet? So I have to look. It has been used a little bit. I guess they tried blue stamping rubber for a while. I just thought that was so sweet. I don't think I have. I have some of girls, but not of this one. So I'm going to keep that. And this one is Stampin' Up! 2001. I always read everything like this. It's my bifocals. <laughs> if you don't have them yet, you're younger. It, your day's coming. Anyway, you make each day a little bit brighter. I just thought that was so sweet. And this was $1.99. I like the font. So there's that one, and my last one, I was very excited. This is a Christmas sugar cookies recipe. Isn't that pretty? Just, yeah, that's a decoration in itself. Some of these stamps are so neat. So I think it might be a PSX 
I don't know, I guess that's a big thing. But look, I don't think it's ever been used either. It's gorgeous. Brand like spanking new. So, of course, they put the sticker over it. But I just think that'd be a cute Christmas card. So, I got those stamps, but don't worry. I got other things. I, I didn't get any clothing. I don't really... I usually go there for... A, and I've been watching these um, Commonwealth Picker and different people that he doesn't actually do a lot. He's a reseller, and Kevin, I think his name is. But anyway, he and then there's another gal, I don't know, I can't remember her channel name, but she's in um, Las Vegas, and she does Goodwill a lot. But anywho, so they're getting me into this. I used to sell on eBay and resell a little bit, just tiny. But I'm trying not to buy things that I wouldn't use because, you know, Right now, I can't resell. I don't have the time, the space, but I just thought this was gorgeous. It's a little Japanese. It says on here with a sticker, handcrafted. I'm sorry. Otogari, Japan. I just think that's so pretty. And it's got the iris on there. And this is kind of the colors of my trailer, so it might go there. I don't know. And then I just love little things that I can collect. This was 99 cents for my tiered trays. So these little knickknacks. So if you're looking for tiered tray stuff and you don't want to spend a lot of money, check out your Goodwills or any thrift store. Isn't that pretty? Look at those little daisies, little watering cans. So perfect for spring and summer. Because once Easter's over, I'm going to have to put all that away. <laughs> I'm having everybody over, well, everybody, my kids, Brian, his wife, and Emma on Sunday for Easter dinner. Then I found, and this was $4.99, Fentonware. This is the, what is that, the pinch? I can't remember. I have my mother's um, cookie tray, tiered cookie tray upstairs, and it's this kind of, and I just, for $4.99, I used to have a lot of Remember when milk glass was this big thing? Everybody's collecting milk glass and having their milk glass display. Well, my ex got all the milk clothes. I don't know what he's going to do with it. But anyway, that's his problem, not mine. So, so I'm not trying to get back into the whole milk glass, but when I see the Fenton wear, I just love that look. So I got that. And then I found for 99 cents this darling, really pretty, so little doilies. I just thought those were really sweet. And you get, I got six of them in this package for... Normally $3.99, they cross it up, so it kind of cracks me up because sometimes the, like, they had their uh, towel to use bath towel, $6.99. I'm like, that's what I wouldn't pay at the store. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, these, I mean, what are these? Oh, they're sewn together. What? What? Handmade coasters, but you can, I'm sure, yeah, you just snip them apart. There's just gorgeous very very pretty so i got that for 99 cents and then oh wait you know i hang my stuff Ooh, those stuck mildewy Oof. Oof. mildew smell makes me sneeze really bad so i'm gonna have to air those out on site anywho i got some wood hangers um to hang my crafts i hang them in the closet i thought these suckers because the plastic sometimes i have so much in one of those bags large bags from Dollar Tree that I can't, it bends and stretches out. So that would, this would be good for that. So $2.99 and I got one, two, three, four, five of them. Plus I just love the look of them. They're just vintage looking. I just thought they were really cool. So I got those. And one more thing. I collected Temptations from QVC. Do you guys remember Temptations? And of course, watching the picker guy, he's saying that this is, you know, sells good if you can find it with the tray. Well, I did. So if I don't end up using it, I'll probably sell it or something. But I don't know if you remember. I mean, they're good. They're supposed to be like the, what is that, pottery? Portugal, I think it is. $7.99. So it came with this. And this is called Temptations Presentable um, Ovenware by Terra made in China, but it's oven, dishwasher, microwave safe. And I used to have um, the yellow set back in my other life. 
And I kind of regretted getting because the yellow kind of was like, and I kind of like this, and I would like a piece in the blue. So anyway, it comes with that. You get this pretty hot plate that it sits in in the... So, I mean, it's still got the stickers. Somebody did not use their Temptations. And then the rack. So, I mean, it's not like I'm... But I was excited to see the whole set. I used to love to bake, so this would be perfect. Maybe Easter, I'll do some scalloped potatoes or something in this. And, uh, yeah. So that is my haul, except I found one thing at Good or Goodwill. Dollar Tree I wanted to share. This reminds me of the big ones that I've been getting that are thicker um, coffee cups for my win window by my, I guess it's my coffee station, um, at like Michael's. This is not that. It's got the little stand on it, but it's pretty good size. I mean, thickness. And it says too much Monday. What does it say? Too much Monday, not enough coffee. It's got the teal, my colors, and the pinks, and just so cute with the donuts. So I got that. I think they had another one, and I didn't get that. I just wanted this one. I'm getting better. I'm not buying the store out. So I got other things like um, foil and things like that, but I wanted to share this. I go there before work now because they open at 8, and I don't have to be to work usually yesterday or was it today oh yeah that's right that was today it seems so long ago um we have a staff meeting and those are at 7 30 in the morning every other week <laughs> it's like really anyway so yeah we did that um but usually if i need to i can go there to dollar tree a lot of times i'll go do my grocery shopping bring my groceries home and then go to work i'm just a more of a morning person because after work i'm a little tuckered out let me tell you so yeah, it was a good day. Um, everything pretty much went fine. Kids just think they've died and gone to head. They think they're so cool for being the first ones in those rooms. So I need to tell them. I did find out that I am going to have my own classroom next year. And the other gal that's part-time with me, who should have been full-time way earlier this year. But anyway, that's a whole other story. Um, she gets to be full-time next year, and we each get our own classroom inside the building where when they have an emergency, I can get to the kiddo. So that is good news. I'm very relieved. Um, so that I'm excited for. So that made my day-to-day -to, -day to find we did. I can't believe it's going to be May next month. So, you know, we're rounding, winding down at the schools. So there you go. So, there's something else I was going to tell you. I can't remember. It's late. It's all of 8.30. I have to go to bed. <laughs> all right, guys. I just wanted to share my quick haul. Sometimes in the evenings, I get a little restless. What did I do? I ran my daughter-in-law, helped her get my son's car because he had to work late um, to the car what is it, mechanic for the next day. So, I was already in the car. So, off I went to my favorite Goodwill. I mean, seriously, isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, this one I'm really excited about. I'm going to probably color that up soon. I'm going to keep it out so I can do it. I ordered some stuff from Amazon. From They're meant to be DVD cases and CD cases and record player. I've got them plastic, you know, with a handle. And so I ordered some more, and I'm going to organize my wood stamps in those. All right, I'm rambling now, so you guys take care, and I will see you probably Saturday morning, because I am making stuff. All right, take care. Bye-bye.